She's my wife, and she wants nothing to do with me. She hates me. Well, this really comes as a huge surprise to you, Look, man? I know. I know I was playing with fire. But I swear to you, man, I, I, I didn't mean to hurt her, Jared. I love her. And, and it's killing me that I hurt her this way. Then why the hell did you keep going with this lover of yours? I don't get it, man. You're always telling me how much you love Whitney. So why do you insist on having these little jaunts at the motel with some new lover? Hey, would you stop saying lover? Love has nothing to do with what I'm doing. It's just sex, right? That's right. It's just sex. Nothing else. You don't have a good enough sex life with the woman you love? Jared, it's not about that. Okay, Whitney and I are great together that way. It's just different. That's all. It's completely separate from what she and I have. It's completely separate from what you and her have. That's great, man. Why don't you try telling that to your new wife? What if I lost her forever? I just feel like such a fool. You know, a, a, a blind, ignorant, stupid fool. You're none of those things, Whitney. But I knew, you know, I, I knew deep down. But what did I do about it? I didn't do anything about it. I, I just let it slide and married him anyway. Whitney, look, what you're saying that Chad did is true. He's the fool. Okay, not you. I mean, you followed your heart. You believed in the man that you loved. Ah, uh, well, never again. You married him in good faith. He's the one who has broken it. it honey, is, is this an engagement? This is the engagement ring, isn't it? Oh, my God. Oh, um, this is what I walked in on. I'm so sorry, oh, honey. Stop, please. No, this is... It, it, he, Jared, he just proposed to me. Okay, that's, that's great, honey. And, and you said, yeah? I, I no. I he he put it on my on my finger before I had the chance to answer him. But you're gonna say yeah. <laughs> I don't I don't know. I mean I'm kind of glad that you interrupted and told me all this because I I just I'm not sure. What do you mean you're not sure? Honey, Jared's a great guy. He's nuts about you. He would never do to you what Chad did to me. Why are you considering not marrying him? Oh, of course. No. Let me guess. No, no, yeah, okay, yes, it, it's Ethan. Yes, it's always Ethan, but it's not how you think, okay? He's, he, Whitney, he's been really persistent about Jared having this deep, dark secret, okay? He, he's totally convinced that Jared is keeping something from me, something from every single person in harmony. And you believe that? Well, I don't want to believe it. I don't, I don't know, Whitney. I don't really know. I mean, we were both fooled by Chad. Maybe Jared's fooling me. I don't know. The coroner's taking JT's body down to the morgue. I'd have thought you'd be gone by now. Al, well, he was hoping we'd find something on JT's body that would nail Jared Casey. You're still stuck on that? Mm-hmm. Oh, you really don't like my sister's boyfriend, do you? No, no, I don't. Look, Ethan, I appreciate your concern, but so far I haven't seen or heard anything that would make me suspect that Jared isn't the guy who he says he is. And besides that, Teresa really likes him. Yeah. Well, see, that's what bothers me. If I don't turn up something on this creep soon, your sister may end up marrying this guy. Look, here's the thing. Teresa is a grown woman, and she has a right to make her own decision, the same way that Sheridan made her decision to not be with me. Now, if Teresa wants to be with Jared, you have to accept it. Oh.